Welcome to Daily Joys. I'm down on the plot again today and it's a really gorgeous day. Over here is my new bed that I put in and my new path and I did this over the weekend and then I'm going to show you what's been going on in the plot over the last couple of days. So here's my purple tender stem broccoli and this has been doing really well since I've covered it up to protect it from the pigeons because it got eaten by them over the winter. But thankfully it started to come back and I've been actually picking quite a bit of this to have for my dinner and so it's really nice. And I'm definitely going to grow this game next year and I'm going to make a proper cage to protect it from the pigeons and from the butterflies. So what you do is you just take off the little tips and you take those home to eat and then what it means is that it will then continue to send up new shoots and so you don't take off the whole branch you just take off a little bit from the end and then you'll get lots and lots of it to eat over the next couple of months so I'll cover it back up so the pigeons can't eat any more of it now this bed over here is a new bed that I put in and this is going to be where I've got my Brussels sprouts and then along the back is where I'm going to be planting all of my beans and over here I put in my parsnips, they still haven't come up so what I've decided to do is to chit some at home so that I don't miss having them. Here are my gooseberries and because they're not that big I'm actually going to use the space around the bed to put in some filler crops. I might put in some spinach or something like that. I have to have a think about what I'm going to put in there. And over here is my broad bean bed. Now the ones that I direct sowed, I wasn't sure if they were going to come up but they all seem to have started to make an appearance which is really good. So maybe next year I won't start them off at home, maybe I will actually direct sow them next year. And then I've got the ones that I sowed at home and I brought those down and I planted them out and they seem to be doing quite well. But what I have been doing is I've been covering them up just to protect them from the elements in the evenings and through the night and to stop the pigeons from eating them. And then over here is my Swiss chard bed. Now this is doing really well and I don't think it'll be long before I'll be able to start picking leaves and taking them home. So they're really doing well over here. And then I've got my artichokes at the back and over on this bed over here I've got my cabbages and I've been protecting these because I'm worried the pigeon's going to come so I need to build a cage over that. And over here I've got my autumn raspberries and I have got my blackcurrant bushes and these are really starting to sprout out now. And now over here I've got my strawberry bed over here and then I've got my summer raspberries. Now these shoots that are coming up, these aren't going to produce fruit this year. They're going to be next year's fruit. Whereas these ones here, this is where I'm going to get the fruit from these this year. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of shoots at the bottom. So next year I should have a really good crop of these. Whereas with the autumn raspberries, these will actually fruit on this year's canes and so they'll fruit a little bit later. Now on with the digging. This is what I've managed to dig out today. Now this is where this bed ends and then what I'll need to do is I'll need to level it out and then I'll need to put a path along here all the way to the top and that's going to be the end of those beds along the back and then along here is going to be where my flower bed starts and that's just one continual bed. So I've managed to get about half the plot cleared and along here I've taken the covers off the cabbages just so that they can get used to the wind down on the plot. So it's starting to look quite smart but this side I haven't managed to get done yet so I'm hoping to get it all cleared by May. I've dug this bed out here, I did this last year and I've mulched it so that's ready to be planted out and then this one I've managed to dig out about half of it but I need to take down these supports here that I used to grow my cucumbers up last year. Over here is going to be where my flower bed is and so I'm hoping to get this all cleared as well this year and then I will be able to put the rows of flowers in along here and so that should look really nice once I've got it done 
Now over here I had my sweet corn in this last year and I just planted it in amongst this here and then I had my bonfire over here and I've got my black tarpaulin along the turf along the back and that's actually going to be staying there. I'm not going to dig that out this year. What I'm going to do is I'm going to directly plant my courgettes into it. And over here I've got my compost bin which I'm filling back up with all of the waste from my quail and my rabbits at home. And then that will then be able to be put out onto the beds as a mulch. So hopefully I'll be able to get it done. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye.